This podcast is proud to be part of the TalkSport Fan Network. TalkSport. Powered by fans. Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. At Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. They charge you a lot, we charge you a little. So naturally, when they announced they'd be raising their prices due to inflation, we decided to deflate our prices due to not hating you. That's right. We're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from $30 a month to just $15 a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promote for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. The TalkSport Fan Network is proudly supported by McDelivery, bringing you the food you love. McDelivery brings a top-tier line of food right to your door. No matter the result, You'll always be winning with McDelivery. So, the only thing left to say is, you in? Order now on the McDonald's app, and you can also get rewards points delivered too, so that ordering today means some tasty rewards for tomorrow. Only via app at participating restaurants, 18+. plus. Rewards registration required. Points only on menu items. Delivery fee and terms apply. See mcdonalds.com. City high up the field in their own right here as Tomkinson curls it in field. That's a lovely layoff from Cook. Tyreek Wright! There we go! There's the goal! Tyreek Wright is back scoring for Bradford City! His first goal during his second spell at the football club. Well found by... The goalkeeper says a Man United loan he's with the ball at his feet. Oh, Tyreek Wright could be through again. He might get a second. He does get a second! Andy Cook lets it run. A simple throw from the near touchline. Accrington's defence just switched off. And Tyreek Wright has a brace after just 22 minutes. Accrington Stanley nil. John Tomkinson right on cue. Tracking back this time. Oh, completely misjudged jump from Pickles. And Andy Cook is through to maybe get Bradford City a third. That is an accomplished finish from Bradford City's number nine. Right, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to Bradford City vs Forest Green Rovers preview show live on X and on TikTok. In today's podcast, we'll be chatting about the post-match Akron Stanley game, pre-match Forest Green Rovers, latest Bradford City news where you can rant, rave, chat about anything, or even vent, weather forecast for the Bradford game and score predictions. And I am joined... By lovely Miss Diane today, so you should be able to hear, hear me, Diane. I can hear you. And That's not too bad. Yep. So I know we've got uh, Lee as well. So welcome, Lee. Uh, I accepted your invite to speak. So I don't know if it's come through. And then see, we've got George Roger. here as well. So welcome. So, what is your post-match thoughts on the Ackerman Stanley game? We played better than we did Tuesday night. I thought it was a good win against them. So the the lads played better. And we won, so that was the main thing. So And it was good to see Tyreek getting on the score sheet as well, even though he did come up injured. And it was good to see Jamie come on the pitch as well, even though for the last 10 minutes. So hopefully that's back to the start of the Jamie Walker coming on the pitch. But yeah, it was a good game. And I was happy. You should be able to hear me, Lee, as well. Yeah, I could hear you loud and clear. It just it didn't come through. I had to leave and come back, and there it was. <laughs> so thank you for that. It's all right. So what were your thoughts on the <clears throat> Akron Stanley game? I was happy. Um, I think it could easily have been 5 0 uh, or 5 1. They hit the bar, didn't they? Bit lack. That was the thing that would admit most. Still a little bit slack at the back there. I think they're maybe a bit complacent, maybe because it wasn't a difficult game, was it? To be honest. Oh, so sure. three nil, which is what I predicted. So I've got to be more than happy. Yeah, it were a, it were a good one, wasn't it? Good game. Uh, I, yeah. I, was, I was sat with Diane. And I stood up with Diane for the game. That's all uh, the pictures. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, he's that bloody pink hat. 
and I missed the uh, I missed the first goal because Charlie was shouting in my ear, and then somebody else was chatting to me, so I didn't miss the first goal, and then I started chatting to Callie, and then we scored. So oh, hell. every time I chatted, chatted to Callie, we seemed to score. So Charlie of the Murgatroyds. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I missed the first goal as well because of the the steward chatting to me, and then I missed the second goal for chatting to me. And Dove guy were getting um, secret messages as well, weren't I? So never oh, mind yeah. that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we don't talk about that. Secret messages. Uh, the word. So I just want to welcome uh, TikTok as well. Uh, we've got Daniel, legendary Josh, Liam. Welcome. Uh, got quite a few people. Get your score predictions in TikTok. Because you probably just don't hear me rant and rave all the time. So get your stuff in. Uh, what do you think on Jamie Walker? We'll get to that, Dale. Uh, have you got anything else you want to say on the Ackley and Stanley game before we go into the pre matched Forest Green Rovers? Nah, just bring on FGR. I'm just messaging Georgia and see if she wants to speak. Okay, I did send her a, a speak request. Uh, also, TikTok, if you can as well, just. Keep liking, keep sharing, get get loads of fans in here. I like seeing Preston fans. Uh, Legend Josh, don't support Bradford myself, but support Preston. Welcome aboard. Uh, well, Georgia waits. Uh, we've had Dale coming. Uh, what do you think on Jamie Walker? I oh, will glad he were back. It was nice to see him back in on the pitch, and he played well for the last ten minutes. What he came on. So nice to see back. him back. Nice to see him back. Nice confidence builder for him. Yeah, and I had a very happy girl next to me. Jamie came on the pitch. Ah. <laughs> so, Dale uh, Cockwell, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thank your pardon. <laughs> that, that, that's his name. Great name. Keep on it clean. It's a family show. Yeah, I know it's a family <laughs> show, but we've got a couple of <laughs> names in there that make people chuckle. Yes. So Dale has put. He used to play for my team. Hearts is a great player. Yep. Uh, Dale with Lodian in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yeah, he's a good player, and he uh, he had a few he dodgy is. touches. He couldn't really handle the. He, his touches were a bit bad. I thought. I know he's just come back from injury and missed. Uh, a bit rustier than rest one day, and they were rusty the other night, weren't they? So. Uh, <coughs> w Green. Yes, I am going to the game tomorrow. Uh, Lewis Brooke up the chickens exactly. D Danny F Danny Fear or Fair, we won't win tomorrow. Forest, uh, <laughs> my car Forest Green will win tomorrow. So, moving on because I know we've not got a lot of people here. We're going to move on to the pre-match Forest Green Rovers. Also, TikTok, get your uh, score predictions in, please, and I will read ones out. So. Bradford City versus Forest Green Rovers at 17.45 tomorrow, uh, 12th of March 2024, uh, University of Bradford Stadium. And the referee is Simon Matha, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And he's had three appearances in the EFL Trophy. He's dished out 13 yellow cards, no second yellows, no reds, no penalties. In League One, he's had 11 appearances, dished out 63 yellow cards, four second yellows, Three red cards and one penalty. League two is dished out in nine appearances. He's had 47 appearances. He's dished out no second yellows, two reds, two penalties. So there'll probably be cards galore tomorrow. <laughs> FA Cup is had two appearances, 13 yellow cards, zero second yellows, one red, zero penalties. EFL Cup is had one appearance, seven yellow cards, no second yellows, no reds, no penalties. Altogether, he's had 26 appearances he's dished out 143 yellow cards four wow. second yellows six reds and three penalties so we're definitely going to get a couple of penalties tomorrow and a couple of sending offs so let me just go back to that page there so bradford city have played uh won three games we've drawn twice and forest green have won once going back to 2019 we lost one nil in 2020 Oh, no, we didn't play. Uh, 2020, we drew to <coughs> all. 2nd of April 2021, we won 4-1. 5th of October 2021, we drew 1-1. Forest, uh, 12th of March 2022, we won 2-0. And 23rd of... Uh, 28th of November 2023, we won 3-0. Looking at the stats, Bradford City are currently 12th. We've played 35 games. We've got a goal difference of 5. And we've played... 
uh, we're on points 50. Forest Green are 23rd right at the bottom, but they're starting to fight the resistance and move up the leagues. Uh, they've played 36 games, goal difference of minus 26, and they've got a points of 30. Uh, their top goal scorer is Stevens, as is Andy Cook. Andy Cook's got 14 goals, Stevens has got 9. Andy Cook's had 5 assists. He's only had one. He's had uh, Andy Cook's played 32 matches and Stevens played 27. Bradford are ranked 19th in goals scored per match is 1.3 goals. Bradford City haven't lost to Forest Green Rovers in the last five meetings, so we're obviously probably going to lose tomorrow. Andy Cook has created most big chances for Bradford City, 10. Forest Green Rovers are ranked 23 in goals and scored per match one goal. They haven't scored in two away matches, so they'll probably score again tomorrow. Haven't scored four goals in their last five. So what's your thoughts on that? And basically the referees, guys. You know, it's going to happen then, don't you? Forest Green are going to win and Oz Adebe will score. <coughs> you know he will score against no. us. Yeah, and things. But surprise. if we carry on with what we were doing over the weekend, carry on that running run, we could just win it, which I think we will win, but you never know. And referee, like you say, probably will be giving some cards out tomorrow and penalties. Um, It'll be fun. Lee, what about yourself? Uh, this may be controversial, but I think we're going to absolutely smash him. I really do. I know... The history, I mean, I were there when Swansea beat us 6 0 and they haven't scored a goal all season. Steve Torpy got two. Oh, I remember Steve Torpy. Yeah, they were lanky streak of. They were mind. nice. No. They were fit. <clears throat> Never mind that. was a footballer. He <laughs> won't. It won't. <laughs> Probably won't get into that. They were arguing. No, it was at a time when we were signing anything that were. Uh, Loose from either Luton or Millwall. Darren Tracy, do you remember him? Oh, I'm homesick. I want to go home. So he did. Torpy stayed. Uh, Wes Reid, remember him from Arsenal? He signed at that time, midfielder. Nah, I, yep. think, I think we're due to give someone a proper tanking. And I'm going for tomorrow. Forest Green. Everybody thinks bottom of the league, they're going to beat us 1 0 or whatever. They're not. They're not. We're, we're playing too well at the minute. And I've uh, probably put Kiss of Death on them now. So and we've got Super Sammy Walker me. in goal. And we've got Super Jamie Walker that'll probably come on from the bench. I don't think he'll start him. Don't, not yet. So, so just looking at the team form, Crawley, ha uh, Forest Green lost against Crawley. The Forest Green won against Tramia. The Drew against Wrexham. The lost against Grimsby and the one against Walsall. Bradford mm -hmm. City, we won 4 0 against MK Dons. We won 1 0 against Sutton. We lost against Wickham in the Cup. We drew against Doncaster 1 all. And then we beat Acton Stanley, who they exactly. We won them 3 0 over the weekend. <clears throat> so, have you two got any other thoughts on the game tomorrow? Well, I think I think watching Cook on Sat on other on Saturday, he's got a bit of his mojo back, hasn't he? That was a good finish. Yeah. We've got Tyreek Wright, who's suddenly found his shooting boots. First goal with a bit of a bit of a deflection, but he hit it well enough, and his second goal with pick at two. Yeah, and uh, talking about that, I've just seen Andy Cook's goal again. Yeah. Which was a good goal. Just bent it round caper, but, just simple. Yeah. Did you all see the interview after the match that Tyreek said that the first time in the year he's played with a match with a smile on his face? Did, yeah. As Not well, lost. so... Yeah, yeah I, I just thought the summer coming back there and there's players coming back. Those players on that pitch wanted to prove a point. You know, you've been picking us. Okay, Walker's coming back. Are you Gorky's there? And I'm thinking, yeah, they want to, they want to keep them shirts. Yeah, they want to keep them shirts. You, you, you can't keep your shirt over the season unless you want to keep it and stop other people trying to take it off you. And you can only do that by playing well and making effort. Yeah, speaking as a coach, there. <laughs> yeah. 
So we got anything else you want to say on the Forest Green game, guys and girls? No, not really. Bring it on. Bring it on. Right, so uh, I think it looks like Simmy's going to be a very short podcast today. We're 12 minutes in already. No. <laughs> so, There's no one uh, here. So, Where are they all? Yeah, so the latest oh, Bradford yeah, news. Obviously, yeah. we've had uh, season oh. tickets come out today. And then also we've had <clears throat> Northwest Corner. Uh, they decided to move it to the B block. So, what's your thought on the B block? I've moved, as you know, that I've now moved to the main stand. Not that I wanted to, but I was thinking if people were getting corners and it'd be all in the way, Joe, with the waving the flags and everything, and I'd love to see the match. I was one that voted for it to stay in the Northwest Corner. So yeah. that's a bit controversial. That I won't have voted for it to be in there. But I've now, I've now moved to the main stand. I'll get a good view of the seats. I know I've got friends in the club that I can, that I'll use to sit with and that lot, but it's personal choice. Like, mm. I'm, I'm moving next to my mate now. So at least when we, when I meet her on a, like a Tuesday or a Saturday, I'm not going, see you later. I can go, <laughs> go in with them now into the match. So I'm not bothered. I renew my season ticket. It doesn't matter where I was sitting. They've always got my backing of the boys. So that's why I renew. That's why I renew my season ticket. We know quite a few won't be renewing them. And I've seen on Twitter that people are moaning to say, "Well, we can't get in B block yet because they're all still reserved seating." So yeah. do you like these from Northwest Corner? And what about yourself, Lee? I just think, like I said when we were talking about it the other week, if it's not broke, why fix it? I don't understand why they've had to, you know, it just makes no sense. Pointless. So Should have left them where they were. We've yeah. had, we've had a, uh, a TikTok from Big Al. Uh, make Northwest a proper family stand or close it or get everyone together. So to answer your question on that, Big Al, it actually used to be the family stand. It used to be like a family area. And then they decided to put Northwest Corner in there. But what I've read yeah. on social media today, followed by the club statement on this, that they're going to keep eight rows open, close the rest of it off. What well, things yeah. a bit stupid. Uh, and then they're going to close the rest of it off, have eight rows open up. And uh, so move everybody to there. So if people want to sit there, they want to sit there. But it used to be a family area a long time ago. And personally... So when I went to the Wickham game, I thought it was a good idea having the drum there. But like yeah. I said, looking on social media, you've had on social media and Facebook because people like to mourn. Bradford City fans like to mourn all the time, even if it's even if we won something, they would still mourn. Yeah. Uh, so they're gonna have massive flags in the way, possibly. You're gonna have people who've been seating in them seats for absolute years. Yes, that's what I was thinking. People probably be getting hacked off that they're not being forced out. But can you imagine watching a game and a massive flag is behind you? I would be pissed yeah. off to be fair if that happened. If I watched the game, that's why I've moved. That is why I've moved. That's why I'm moving to the main stand mm. as well. Because, like I say, if we get a corner, there's a flag waving. Are we going to get to see that corner? No. So, but hey ho. Yeah, because I would. I would love. I know Richard, you've joined, and I know you are in the northwest corner, and I would love you to come on if you can, and just give us your your thing on what you're thinking about the B block. Uh, I know you're northwest corner and planning to move to B, so if you, I just want to get someone someone's insight from the B or northwest corner to B block, and just see how it affect people really. Uh, so we've had a couple more TikToks come in, uh, James. Forest Green fan here. I think we'll struggle tomorrow. Can see Ossie Debbie getting one tomorrow. Yep. Uh, oh, back to the flagging. We've had Big Al. Bradford End would be a good call. Yeah, the Bradford End I think would be a good call. I remember sitting there a long time ago when uh, we played Arsenal back in 2000. And I enjoyed it. But also when we played Wickham, all the stands were full. So it was a good atmosphere. Uh, I think uh, you know, people's mind about the pitch. So with the northwest corner, oh, so Diana, you you, you renewed, aren't you? 
Yeah, I knew to date in the time, yeah. So did you do it online? Yep, I did it online. And did you have any complaints online about it? No, I went straight in. I could have renewed my season ticket in Cop. I said fine tickets. Went straight in, did it. And that way it set up my direct debit. And that way, and I've got my email about it. So I just still can't find my loyalty points, that's all. I'm still not found them. What? No. So we've had Al and Craig, Craig if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think Steve standing in the lower tier and the Bradford end being the atmosphere. So back to that, Al. Um, I think the, ooh, Richard's responded, so that's good. Uh, so see if Richard can hear me. Can you hear me, Richard? He's got a mic, just needs to click it to activate it. Yep, try him again. <clears throat> Are you there, Richard? Oh, I've requested him. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, Richard. Lovely. There so, you. Richard, uh, what's your thoughts then on the northwest corner? Uh, so, I think it's a really difficult one because... Um, the lateness of the announcement by the club has meant that it's everyone's, I think, has been cut caught slightly on the hop. Um, I'm also aware that in B Block, there's a number of people, there's a number of people, I think, in B Block who are, are long standing supporters with a long history at the club um, and who understandably don't want to, to move. Um, so the challenge is going to become so when we've got on the ticketing site today, I think what we've seen is a number of people from Northwest Corner have then dropped down into B Block to the point where B Block is now virtually full um, we currently sit in northwest corner upper we we actually have got a couple of seats directly next to the block where everyone stands up and quite often what we do is we go and join them standing up and then when it's really terrible we just go and sit down and cry <laughs> um, so uh, so it work it works for us we can join if we want and we can we don't have to if we don't we don't we don't need to so the problem now is so we now want to move because what we don't want to be doing we, what we don't want to happen is was left in northwest corner with the atmosphere section gone because it'll be <laughs> a complete empty shell uh, and i'm not entirely sure whether the club are intending on having that stand open in uh, for next season at the talk so there'll be no reason for anyone kind of to be there uh so so what we've done now is we've actually grabbed um there's three of us that normally go together um so we've grabbed three seats in in a block they, those being the nearest we could get to, to b block without going to the absolute front but i can see a significant problem when people are trying to because the other thing that happens in northwest corner as well is it in that section you know where you see all the flags waving yeah it's, it's just it's open seating anyone everyone mm. goes anywhere you want it's like being an away game do you know what i mean you just go where you want so nobody you don't go i'm in seat b17 that doesn't matter now i think that when those people come down to b block if they are expecting it to be, oh, well, we're just going to go where we want, they're going to come up against the people who are, are already there, who were there this season, and who, who seem quite uh, passionate to stay in their exact seat. So I could just see it being really, really difficult. Bit of a uh, flashpoint, do you think? Uh, potentially, yeah, because you've kind of got... Because it's particularly about if you know some of the people that are down there, and I, I'll not mention names because it's like... But there's a lot, quite a lot of the City Away Days kind of people. Do you know what I mean? Long-standing supporters who, who've been been there, who've got a voice, and they're, you know, they're chatting on the various Facebook groups and they're saying we're not moving. They're all encouraging each other to renew on the basis that the more people that renew in B Block, the less chance there is of a, invert commas, an invasion. So I can see that... Those two cultures, if you like, are <laughs> they're not going to sit well together. So, so that's that's where we're at. Before we go to Cali, because I know Cali's just joined, uh, we've had uh, a reply on TikTok from Darren. If all current season ticket holders renew in Block B, what effect will this have? My answer to that will be Northwest Collective might collapse. If, so, yeah, yeah. So, coming on that, sorry. So <clears throat> obviously at the moment we're in the phase, we're in the renewal phase. So if you go on the if you go on the website, you go on the, the the ticket, the plan, the map. It's showing that there's there's very very little availability in B block apart from right at the front. 
Now, when April the 7th comes, we'll see then how many people have decided to go, you know what, I want to get out of Bebop and go somewhere else. Um, but until then, we're, we're not really too sure. So it, the question the question is how many in B-Block are going to actually renew between now and April the 7th. Once April the 7th comes, those empty seats get released. What we're going to do, we've, we've got some in A-Block. What we're going to do is that on April the 7th, we'll have a look again. And if there's some decently located near the back at B-Block, we, we will jump in. We will jump in there. But, of course, if everyone renews, it will, it will remain maybe half of the old people and half of the new people that have already have jumped in there today. Um, it's a mess it's not fair on the people who are existing who are already there um, and then it also like you say Johnny it has the potential to effectively uh, um, I don't want to use the word balkanisation uh, to split up into little pockets the the, the, the the Northwest Collective people because they can't all get in together in that, in that area if there's the existing people there so just looking now there's 41 seats available in B Block yeah, so if you look at them, they're mostly near the front, aren't they? So yep. they're in, the, in the front few few rows where you don't get much elevation, it's much harder to see what's going on in the game. Um, we managed to get someone in A block, three together, about halfway back. I've just done that in the last, literally I did that as the podcast came on, um, just to just to, so we've got something in the area. Um, but there is some seats available, but they're, but they're all at the front. But I think what my worry slightly is, is that, is that, people buy, buy tickets at the front but actually they want to go around the drum and around the flags and 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 they also have the mentality of and the culture of it being open because what it is in, in north Carolina is open seating there's no nobody goes oh that's my seat mate you, just, you see what i mean you just go you just go where there's space and there is lots of space in there so, so there's very rarely any any issues but um but yeah th that's that's the worry okay and is Callie here still yeah. Is she gone? Is she here? She's below you. She's it looks like she's gone off. She's gone off. No. Yeah. Oh, she's back again. So, Miss Kelly, should be able to hear me? Uh, yeah, I can now. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's like back to like soccer Saturday days here, and it's someone's got <laughs> telephone. So, uh, so I know you came to. So we'll start again, Kelly. So the Akron Stanley game. Yep. What were your thoughts on that? It was just, I know it sounds really pathetic, but I wanted a couple more goals at our end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did, didn't we? No, we don't know that. We want another, another. We want a couple more, and yet it was really amazing that we actually won 3 0 as well. <laughs> I think somebody told them that I predicted 3 0, so they just eased up. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. <laughs> because I did say to Cali, though, I didn't call her, there won't be any goals at our end in the second half. No, we knew it. We, 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 we were really chatting and missed too, didn't we, Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> so, were you that jinxed it? Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, what's your thoughts on the Forest Green Rovers game, Cal? Um, I'm a bit worried about this one because we never do well, do we, with the bottom teams? So, I think, we're, I think we'll be a bit jinxed. Um, but, hopefully, oh. confidence. I know. <laughs> Hopefully, confidence is high, and they'll go back into. And we've not had much of a gap of, between games, have we? Which is a good thing. Yeah, let's just um, keep this yeah. run going. That's what I. Yeah, suppose. absolutely. Keep this positivism. Yeah. God, as I used to say in my day, Bantam's progressivism. And then, what's <laughs> your what's your thoughts on the season, uh, the ticketing system, or season tickets, and then obviously moving them from. Uh, mm. Northwest corner to the B block. Yeah, I, I just feel like they've just done it without actually uh, authorising it as such. They've just thought, well, we're going to do what we want anyway, which is bad. Um, like you were saying, there's going to be a lot of people discussed about it. I mean, just, it do not personally affect me because I'm in C yeah. block. So the kind of next to me, but I don't think it's going to be fair. I mean, I'm I'm still yeah. undecided what I'm, where I'm going to sit. But it's yeah, I just, there a bit. I don't, I Obviously, don't agree. people people don't want to move, do they? They won't want to move from there. No. Space, so I, and I don't. I think I, I don't think blame them. going to break out. Yeah, I, I I think eruptions are going to happen. Where's Mr. Bradford Independent when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> it's not here, I don't know. 
He's not here. I don't have a clue. He's gone into ID, I think. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say, it's nice to see Richard on the podcast, by the way. The guru is here. <laughs> Yeah, he's been he's been hiding that. Thank I wanted you, to Gala. get his uh, the more the merrier. Yeah, I wanted to get his because uh, <laughs> I know Richard. I was speaking to Richard earlier and he, on about moving, but I don't know if you read Cali, but the northwest corner is still going to be open apart from eight rows, and then the rest of it's going to be closed off. Right. So then, no, I've obviously, seen that. like, yeah. So northwest corner is still going to be open apart from eight rows. <clears throat> They're going to close. Johnny, is that bit. is that is that lower or upper? Um, I can find out for you. Um, I mean, the, the, the northwest corner lower uh, has quite a, f a, a function because if you imagine the the banking in there is really steep, so if you've got small children, so when Kofi was small, we used to go in northwest corner lower for two reasons. Number one is the banking's nice and steep, so you can always be guaranteed to see over the person, even if you've got like a six foot bloke in front of you, an eight, an eight year old child can see over the top. And the other thing is as well, it's very often the goal celebrations take place in that corner, so you obviously you often find that if, if we score that invariably the, the player will run down to that corner so it, the lower thing is good for if you've got small children um i don't think so they're intending on shutting now i know that it's been the main stand has been redesignated the family stand from the days that i'm talking about which is probably about eight ten years ago um so i don't know if the bit they're keeping open is going to be the, the lower bit or the or the or, or the upper so um, the statement i've got from the club up here this yeah. is from uh, the, the club what they put out earlier those wishing to sit in the atmosphere section in brackets are advised to secure their tickets and all season tickets in the lower tier of the top with the drum and flags likely to situated in block B. The front eight rows in the upper tier of northwest corner will remain available to choose uh, okay. for those who would like to sit in the area, although the rest of the upper tier of the northwest corner will be closed. So, not the top part, there'll be only eight seats available, the rest of it's going to be closed. Got you. And that's from the club. But yeah, I mean the other, the other. I mean, I'm careful what I say here. But the other aspect to this, and I'll use my words carefully, is that um, there are also uh, certain behaviour traits that take place in Northwest Corner Upper, particularly, um, particularly in relation to. Um, I need to really. I don't know how to word this, but uh, it doesn't. Not in the way, but in, in terms of what then what happens, like if you go to the toilet, for example, you can be guaranteed the stores will always be full and there'll be a queue there. Do you know, do you know where I'm going with that? I know where you're going with that, Rich. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And then. Yeah. Behaviours, yeah. Yeah, so behaviours, which which then of course will also be and now that the the thing is in Northwest Corner because it's the rest of it's quite empty, it's it's not really a big deal and no one ever just yeah, you just you do what you want. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to be well. I think in the cart where it's much more populated, there will be obviously additional pressure on on such areas, and I think that might also I, I don't know, but it might also cause an issue as well. The thing is in Northwest Corner, the whole of that, that behaviour piece and all that thing is that the stewards know where knew where to look and it was there's quite a lot of space there was no real pressure people could just them young lads could do as they wanted do you know what i mean and, and without too much kind of uh, thing i think it might be slightly different in the lower cop um that might be another factor to take into account yeah uh so going back to that like you're saying there rich i agree with you there what you said there so the northwest corner people could basically get away with stuff what they can't get away do as they with, please yeah we in just, the cop yeah yeah uh so but then, I can imagine it now, first game of the season, next year, no, next season, sorry, when we play whoever at home, Miss Daisy or whoever will come to the seat and somebody will be sat in their seat. And it'd be like a away game where, you know when you go to a away game and, like away game's a bit more chilled out, in it? You normally sit wherever you want to sit, you can chill, people don't care. But then you always get one person who's paid for a seat and wants to sit in that seat. So with this, I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a little bit of a, a war breaking out. To be fair, I think even I think you're right, Johnny. I think even more so with, with home games because people also also at home games people have you start to know the people around you don't you you start to get to yeah. chatting with people and you you know a few few folk and then particularly again like i say in that in that area in b block um there's lots of people that i know of who've been watching city for years and they they they, they know people it's like you say say i'm sure for yourself Callie, um you've been going for years and years, and years. Yeah, i know i know 
I know yeah. what you mean. Yeah. And there's all those networks and all those things, which on a on a way day, bit, that we're all on an away day, we're all as one, aren't we? We're all just chucked in the stand, and we're all as one. It all mixes in. But in a home game, every block and every area has its own distinct little kind of network and culture. And the problem is with this yeah. is, is, I think what people get people so upset is that it feels like loads of people are going to be imported into that area from northwest corner, often young lads, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, with behaviours that go with it, standing up. So there won't be, and, the, and no one will be sat down. I, I guarantee, you know, because sitting northwest corner, nobody right. sits down. Down. Um, it's all it's no. all stood up. So if you're like you know if you're a seventy year old bloke or woman or what have you, and you, you kind of you want to be sat down apart, or you can stand up when they're attacking or whatever, stand up for short periods. You then left in a situation where you've got people stood, you've got flags, you've got this and that going on. Um, it, it changes the, the culture of the of the block, and I think that's what's going to most irk people and the fact there's been so little consultation. So when going back to when the atmosphere section moved from the cop into the northwest corner so going back in terms of my history with my, with my boy by that point we'd gone to northwest corner upper i don't really know why just he got a bit older and etc etc and, and then what they did was they wrote to everybody in that area that was going to be taken over by the, the atmosphere section they wrote to as well in advance and said it's going to the atmosphere section you know just we're letting you know you can either stay there you can move do what you want to do but we have plenty of notice and we, what we actually is we went back to the cop that year because we didn't oh. want to be in the atmosphere section a few years old i mean little lad wants to be well he's not a little lad anymore <laughs> but he, he, he wants to be yeah. near near where that was all happening do you know what i mean and so yeah. so we so we moved back so so there was quite a lot of consult number one there was consultation with the people the specific people in those seats where they were moving them first time number two they were moving them to an area where there was just simply it was really empty so there's was, there was loads and loads of space uh, this one they're moving it into an area that's much more congested and with it like i say a particular cohort of friend, fans who, who've been watching a long time and who have got a voice um yeah. and who are likely to not you know and, and there's quite a few of them together and they're not likely to take it lying down so yeah i think it could be challenging so we've had the uh, we've had <laughs> Callie's favorite person chirp up uh crypto bantam i am from the northwest corner and the rest of us and will not be sitting down only standing 100 percent. so crypto if you can i would like you to come on and just have a chat please uh just chat to us about it because i know i'll even send you a speaking invite if you feel like you want to accept it just come on because i know like we've had people here who's not like richard's first time forever he, for example he comes uh he normally listens but he's i've persuaded him to come and speak because he's so I want another person's perspective if I can, Crypto Bantam. I've sent you a request if you'd like to accept it or not. But I just want... We could... Do you know what we could do with doing, Johnny? We could do with doing, like, a bit of a poll on the group. You know, for these... For the for that minority of, of youngsters that are the kind of... I call them the, the youth kind of people. You mean the food you perspective is. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there were, there were quite a few stood behind me and Diane at the um, the game, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah, if, um, if looks could kill Callie like, nearly. <laughs> Callie's looks at that game. I mean, I did turn around at one point and say, carry on and you will be thrown over that fence. She did. Me. And the, to be fair, they did kind of respect me and stop, <laughs> didn't they, eventually? But, yeah. But we did have yeah. our own security. Just, we did have our own steward, though, keeping an eye out. <laughs> Yeah, little stewards could come and stood in front of them, yeah. and they were kind of. I'm, wa I'm watching them, and he, bless him, he probably couldn't have done all with them because no. he was smaller than no, they no. were. But it probably yeah. felt safe for anyway. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I up, uh, I'm going to give you one more chance to come on. Come on, come on, crypto. come on, speak, come and speak to Callie. Come and speak to Miss <laughs> Callie and myself, and I want to get your thoughts on it. I know you're not a youngster, but I want you. Come on, Richard, come on. He's, uh, he's he's basically moving from Northwest Corner. So, Crypto, I want to get your thoughts on it, please, if you can. Also, TikTok, get your thoughts on it. If you if you're interested, come and join us over on uh, on the X. Just look for Chickens on the Loose. You'll find us. I'm going to go through a few comments on Facebook while Crypto makes his mind up. Uh, obviously, I'll leave the names out, but a couple of comments. Any thoughts for these who bought season tickets in the block? sat here for 10 years and i don't intend on moving we better first get priority on renew uh we've got a couple of people renew so they're not if, if if people have actually renewed their ticket their seats they're, they're going to be able to sit there aren't they there's not going to be 
I mean, the, surely the stewards will be able to monitor and sit, sit there and say, well, that's your seat. So they'll move whoever sat in that seat out of it if if that happens. I think, I, think the, I think the challenge is, sorry, just a bit, I think the challenge is, yeah, they, 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 might, they, they might well try, but the challenge is if there's like, I don't know, so in that block in Northwest Corner where we are, there's, mm. I don't know, 50, 60, 100 people, I don't know. If there's like a, a large number of people who just stood up, it's quite difficult yeah. for the stewards that have to really have a concerted effort get several of them to get in there and do something um i don't i don't think yeah. it'll be, i mean i don't think it'll be straightforward but if they're very aware of it but, but then there's people saying as well it's like look I, I part of the reason i we went up there is i don't want to sit down at a football game either um now i would never stand up i'm conscious of who's behind me do you know what i mean i won't stand up if someone's behind me you can't unless there's people in front of me stood up but uh, you know there's people that want to stand up and, and they are going to stand up and, and i think that's probably going to yeah. create some some challenges yeah, because the cop at the minute, where I mean, I'm in C block, I'm in lower C block, and to be fair, people do sit down where we are, but they stand up at the right moments if you, you know, when they're when they're going to take a corner or, and everybody just seems to be in that momentum and stand up all together kind of thing. Um, but yeah, like you say, if they're they're just going to be in there all the time, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, isn't it? It's going to be a bit weird to see what happens. So, Callie, we've had someone agree with you. Uh, shock horror, it's going to snow tomorrow, but Darren's exactly wow. Callie, everyone <laughs> should, uh, exactly Callie, everyone should renew. So, yeah. it's going to yeah. be one of them. Uh, there's a few people asking uh, a consult, a consultation with all current block ticket holders should have been better before putting it out. Yeah, that's Darren again. Uh, yeah. I see Mr. That. Stan has joined. Are you there, Stan? Yes, I am. Good evening, uh, ladies and gents. Are we good? Hello. Hi, Stan. Hiya. Uh, it's all Stan. Uh, we're just talking about currently the northwest corner and everybody moving from the northwest corner to the B block. Yes. Uh, so, what's your thoughts on that to start off with? And do you sit anywhere in that vicinity? No, I, I'm in the um, I'm in the prawn sandwich brigade. Not quite, but I'm in the top tier of the big stand, so <laughs> of the main stand. Um, so I'm in the McCall suite. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see sort of both sides of it in terms of people wanting to get, um, you know, get an atmosphere going and stuff. But but it's kind of like um, it's difficult on the people that are happy where they sat, they like the view. Um, you know, I sort of don't want to move or I shouldn't have to move. I think it might have been Labib who sort of mentioned, like, people having to move for cup games, which is, like, obviously fair enough, and it's it's a hassle, but that's the odd game. So um, this is fundamentally, I guess, changing where you look, view the game from, etc. Um, I, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. I think some people will be happy, some people will be annoyed. And I and, know and it's, it's not meant to be sitting on the fence, but... I think I'd be annoyed if, I, if if basically they said, well, we're going to move people into my seat. The funny thing is, though, they're not actually moving anybody. Right, OK. Um, I'll just get the thing up again. Uh, so I've got, like, so many things open. Well, I'll show up then, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, no, it's carry on talking for a minute, Stan. And he'll find it again. Uh, where are we? No, I was laughing at myself. It's like, um, you know, maybe I haven't got the full facts, but... So, uh, yeah, so the, the full statement from the club, the University of Bradford City... Atmosphere section will move to the lower tier of the cop from the beginning of 24 to 20, 20, sorry, 2024 25 season. This move follows feedback from a recent survey which supporters were invited to vote on. Over 2,600 responses for this survey. So, to be fair, if we've had like 18,000 ticket holders, that's a bit poor, to be fair. With 80% of the spots desired for the atmosphere section to move from upper tier to northwest cop, lower cop. 7% of the Spartans answered this. 7% uh, of the Spartans who answered the state no preference with 13% saying they wished for the section to remain in the up tier of Northwest Corner. For those who wish to sit in the atmosphere section, uh, secure your ticket in the lower drum and flag will be there. The front eight rows in the upper tier of Northwest Corner will remain available to those who would like to sit in the area. Uh, supporters can go on the new system and I just need a find it again because someone put it i think it's on twitter i think about it where people won't be forced to move but has anyone else got any thoughts 
on it, the northwest corner. <laughs> on that and the low top turnout of the uh, poll. I mean, that tends to happen anyway. But I suspect that the people that are well, potentially involved in that, i.e. being moved or moving, are more likely to vote than some news down the other end of the ground. Hmm. Anyone else, Callie? Lee? I think you... I think I, I have, sorry. I have, sorry. Carry on, Callie. You... But, uh, I have a feeling that a lot of them will just go back in the top of the cop. I think the majority might just go back up the top end and go, you know, kind of join back up in the in the top, kind of, you know, L and K block up, upstairs. Mm. Be interesting to see. I'm going to do... I'll, um, I'll set the poll up tonight and see if we get some responses back from a lot of people that are actually moving across. See I think happens. you're right, Callie, insofar as the, the, there might be some that go in the upper cot because they can't get in at the lower cot, but I think Northwest Collective has already tweeted saying, we're going into B block, uh, we're taking the drum. Yeah, okay. yeah, that, that, that was uh, about yeah. lunchtime today. Um, so I think, and, that, and I, my understanding is that at that point, the, the blue dots turn, the blue dots showing availability, a number of them turn grey in B block. Hence, by the time I'd like finished work and sorted out, blah, 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 and I came on, there was literally nothing left anywhere near the centre or the back. So, um, so yeah. and the next the next key date is April the 7th. On April the 7th, the seats that haven't been renewed in B block um, then become available. And I mean, that's the point where I'll be looking to try and, try and jump in myself, to be honest with you. Um, and I guess other people will be as well. Mm. I think yeah. if I can yeah. uh, jump in on here, and, and if it does happen, it looks like it does. Gonna, it, it looks like it is going to happen. I think it's then incumbent on the people that are kind of wanting to uh, move into that space to create atmosphere to actually create atmosphere, um, because that's basically what they're going in there for. I know it's kind of like sometimes you need it on the pitch, but I think it's like well. Uh, Diane, whereabouts are you moving to? Are you staying in the club? No, I'm going to the main stand. Do you know, sit with Emma and girls. Do you know we'll go to football? All right. I'm moving over there this year. Um, it was just really that atmosphere going over. It's not bad, but like I was just saying, if I get to the corners and I can't see it, you know, I'll be going mad. But yeah, I'm moving over to the main yeah. stand. We'll sit next to him. And it's like a, it's like I said, I said, even if I don't meet them before the match, <coughs> I can meet you lot and I can go in ground and that will and see them. So it's like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like, just see them all. So yeah, I'm moving this year to the main stand because look at the we'll seat next to them we and girls. So, but, right, I right. but I just thought, oh shit, I'm I'll still, probably see I'm somebody quite, more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel quite undecided what to do yeah. with mine. I mean, I'm, I'm overseeing C block, but like you say, I, I mean, I, I was, I'm in the lower court because of Lena because of her age, but she's like 15 now. Yeah. Like Richard was saying, as kids are growing up, so they want to be with, with a, a bit more, a, a bit more aggro, if you like. Yeah. I know probably aggro is the wrong word to use, but. Yeah, she's not as bothered. I mean, before, when she was younger, you try and keep them a bit more safe, yeah. don't you, as such? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so I, it, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter where we sit now, now because she's old enough to um, take some of the... Well, that's what I was just going to yeah. pick up on, agree with, with Stan. Surely it only affects the people in Norman's Corner there. You know, it's... Yeah. Do you want to put up with what the club are trying to do or do you want to just kind of find somewhere to sit that you can be and enjoy the game? Oh, it's whether yeah. you're in main stand end or if you're in cop end side. I mean, that Norman Corner is not a mile wide, is it? Away days are great, but there's nothing quite like playing at home. The same goes for McDonald's. Maximise your home advantage with McDelivery. You in? Order now on the McDonald's app. At participating restaurants, 18 plus, serving times, delivery fee and terms apply. See mcdonalds.com. No. I found a bit more information out uh, in like the Q&A thing they've done. So will their seats be dedicated atmos uh, atmosphere section? If so, where will it be? And it just goes on about the survey, yada, yada, yada. And then... This area or move seats will able to. The front three rows of the upper tier of Norwest Corner will remain available to those who would like to sit there throughout the rest of the season. So basically, you don't have to move. They won't force you to move. 
So it looks like if you want to stay there, you can stay there. But like I said earlier to Richard, World War Three is coming. <laughs> it's coming to the B block, I reckon. The stuff it gets sorted and quelled at quelled at the beginning. Certainly the grumblings, isn't it? Yeah, it's grumblings, and you know what I like. Fat Bradford City fans like the like a moan. They like a grumble. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to come to a stage, though, where somebody might actually get hurt? Because I know they, when they scored on um, on Saturday, everybody kind of pushed forward and a little bit. And if they're kind of doing that kind of thing as well, there is going to be little old Betty in, in the do you know, in the bottom getting pushed about and such. Yeah. I mean, is it going to get to the stage where somebody actually physically gets hurt? So there's one hurt? question I've got to ask you as well, because I know you still sit there, Kelly, when you come to games. Do you know the bottom of the cop? They've got yeah. the black topping things, aren't they, across the bottom? Yeah, it's like the first three or four yeah. rows, isn't it, that are kind of cut off? So do you reckon they're getting rid of them, or do you reckon they'll be keeping them? I, think I don't know. Keep them. Maybe it's another... I think they'll keep them as well. Because it stops them going on the yeah, pitch. Yeah, remember that season yeah. when a few pitch, little pitch invasions, didn't we, when we scored late on, yeah. about two or three years ago. Um, <clears> um, <throat> and I think that's when they were brought in. And I think that I don't think will take him out. So my, nep- my nephew is um, in his early 20s and he sits right at the other side of the cop um, adjacent to the middle and road stand, you know, in that corner mm. at the bottom. And there's quite a few kind of young lads that sit there. Um, and they all, they always run to the, you know, when we score or anything or, you know, it's getting quite, quite exciting and such. They all run to the, the bottom there in that Is corner. Is that still wheelchair corner in that corner over there? Uh, no, I don't think it is. Uh, it is on the middle. I think there's some on the middle that's road. That's what I mean, on middle and um, road, that lap. But no, you yeah, there. there is there. That's where yeah. lift is, isn't it, in that end? That's right, yeah. But not in the actual cop at mm. the bottom. So we've actually, we've had a couple of tweets come in as well. Uh, so we've had... Uh, I think it's who's this? Uh, Georgia. I'm coming from the northwest corner to the cop, but I'm doing it more for my little one. And then Crypto Bantam. Aren't they introducing safe standing in the lower cop? As as I know, uh, but I think this will not happen. Stay standing at City because it costs too much money to put it in. And if they've not got the money, they won't do it because. Uh, people tell me if, if I'm wrong or right on this, but the northwest corner, someone told me they promised them safe standing in the northwest corner. That's why everybody moved over. But then it all came out, I think, a couple of weeks back that basically they can't do it, there's hardly no money. So my personal thinking is costing too much money, there'd be no, uh, no safe standing available. It's nice to have safe standing, but if they bring, introduce it, it'll be fantastic. But I think they won't be able to afford it, to be fair. Right. If they do do that safe standing, I would love them to do them at Bradford End. I really would. Yeah. It's the home of it. I mean, that's I were brought up on Bradford End almost, you know, so it's just the best end for safe standing, I think. Yeah. Maybe As they'll finish that stand off and all, because it annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> Is anything anyone else they got anything they want to rant around uh, rant vent of anything about chat about Diane? No, I don't think I think we've gone through it all today about the new season tickets and everything. We went through the prices about other prices on Friday. Do you got any thoughts? Rant, rave, chat about, vent about? Yeah, just a, just a question. When they call it say standing, I know what obviously the mechanisms are, but Charlotte's just standing anyway. Do you know what I mean? Um, like, what's the difference between standing at, at, at Accrington um, and safe standing? Yes, yeah, so I think I think the difference is with the safe standing is that you have one row of people standing and then a rail. So, you know, Accrington... Yeah, I, like, I mean, that's what I said. I was yeah. I get the mechanism of it, but... It, oh, right, yeah, that, that's, that's, that, that's the only difference, I think. I think the other thing as well is that with the safe standing, it doesn't necessarily increase the... You can, it doesn't increase the capacity, because obviously, historically, when you had this standing area so like accrington there was more people stood there than if you had seats there if that makes sense it, the, yeah, yeah. It, seating off reduced capacity with safe standing it doesn't so if you put it in you don't get the return on the investment by being able to get extra people in there we don't sell out anyway um so um and i think they also still have like 
they still have seats on the slave stand, don't they? Still have like rail seating as well. You can you can like, sit down if you want to, but obviously if everyone stood up, you're not you're not seeing anything. I think I think that's the only difference, to be honest with you. And you also have yeah. an, you have an allocated place, I think, as well. So you'll have like spot A twenty seven. You go and stand in A twenty seven. Uh, do you know what I mean? Whereas again, with Accrington or somewhere else, where we, we, it's just anyone, anyone goes anywhere. But I think those are the only differences. Have you got? Anything? I mean, I get it because it gives like the club sort of op, you know obviously the opportunity to to sort of change. And usually, when it's like big European or international games, and the seats are actually. Uh, put up, aren't there? Because there's no sort of standing at international games or European. Ah, is that it? Yeah, that makes sense. It gives you the. Op- I understand. Yeah, so you can comply with which, whichever match regulations you 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 yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. Get it right. Yeah, it makes sense. It, it was just like a, a sort of obviously. Yeah, it's like well, just call it standing. But I, like I say, I get the mechanisms, but it's just um, yeah. Like, have you got anything you want to uh, rant about, chat about, vent about? Yeah, not really. No, I just. Just happy with the result at the weekend, and I think I'm going to be happy again tomorrow. We just owe someone a tanking. I just hope Pointing can be found a place for because I don't. It makes absolutely no sense, and it's it's going to be tight for him now that Walker's back, or Igoki's back. Wright's putting a couple of balls in, but he's still a bit fragile, isn't he? Because he's not played that much football, or so they tell us. But you know, just just want to see uh, point and get a goal now before end of the season. I really do. Yeah. And before Miss uh, Kelly disappears off to work, have you got anything you want to rant about, chat about, rant about Kelly? Uh, no, I'm just looking forward to the game mm. tomorrow. I can't. Obviously, I'm working, so I can't get up. But I'll I'll have headphones on at work, shouting down the aisles <laughs> <laughs> as usual. <laughs> and Richard, do you want want to chat about, rant about, rant about, or rant about anything? Um, I I think the game tomorrow. Um, I think if we can win, it will set up a superb Saturday because Mansfield exactly. um, will. I presume they've sold out. Um, they normally they normally get into tail out anyway, but don't fill it. But given their their ascendancy this year, and I think it will bring all the the people who've not been there. And I don't I don't know how many will go tomorrow night. It's, it's a Tuesday night, but I think it could be an if we win tomorrow night, Saturday could be an absolute belter, um, and the ground be as full as as full as it's going to be. So fingers crossed. Right, and it's now time for everybody's favourite feature, the weather forecast. And Stan, do you want to? I'm going to head you over to Stan, who does his lovely line. Uh, the weather is sponsored by myself, Stan Jammer Photography, where capturing your image is my focus. So if you want to go and see Stan's website, if you go on www.standizmafoto.com, that's S-T-A-N-D-Z-I-A-M-A-Photo.com, get yourself over there and have a look at his photographs. And tomorrow's weather forecast, the sun will rise at 628 and will set at six minutes past six. Uh, from six o'clock, it's going to absolutely pee it down. So hopefully the pitch will hold out. And basically take your big coats with you. And that is the weather forecast for tomorrow. And everyone's second favourite feature, same again, son- sponsored by Stan the Man, is score predictions with sound effects. So, Miss Diane, I'll let you I'm start. going. I'm going three one. Three one, okay. Stan, I'm going two nil. See. So it's going to absolutely rain tomorrow. Stan, 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 Stan. There we go. What a rub, Navi. Lee. I'm going to go for my hat-trick, 3-0. Miss Kelly. I think we're going to absolutely oh, annihilate wow. them tomorrow. I think I think we're going to follow on. I think we're going to have... I'm going to, I'm going to go 4-0. I'm going to put it out there, 4-0. Okay, so I'm going to go... <laughs> 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 okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, Kelly's absolutely lost it. <laughs> and Mr. Ricardo. Um, 1 0 City. 1 0? 
<laughs> yeah, one nil City. And I You're think done, yeah. I think I've been drinking too much, but I think we're gonna win three nil. And we're just gonna basically yeah, we're gonna win very well. And before TikTok shuts down, I'm just need to do that. Very find myself again. Right, so TikTok, we've got a few score predictions coming in. So Johnny thinks it's gonna be four nil city. Darren thinks two nil Bradford. MC thinks it's two one city. Uh, keep you putting your oh Jay's put one nil Forest Green. Ossie Derby bound to score. You never know what happens in football. And if anyone else has got any score predictions, get it in TikTok and I'll read them out for you. Oh, Georgia thinks it's going to be 2 1 Bradford. And, yep. Anyone else got any score predictions? Any, anyone else got up? Oh, Liam's put 5 1 City. Yes, good lad. So, tick up. Oh. I hope someone's put 3 2 Chelsea. Wrong game. Okay. Wrong game. They were 4 2, actually. <laughs> For those of us, you know. Yeah, so. wrong game. Uh, Jake has put thoughts on Tariq Wright. Tariq Wright is a good player. He should have stayed at City, shouldn't have gone to Plymouth. He scored two goals. <laughs> Jamie got injured. We need to sign him. But we need to sign him up there. I agree with you yes, there. Um, Callie's got a hand up, Miss Cal. Callie? Callie? Sorry, I forgot to turn the mic off. <laughs> <laughs> Working nights. <laughs> um, yeah, it was nice to see Jamie Walker's response on these social medias. He were, I think he were quite, um, uh, what's the word? Humble? Oh, I can't think of the word. Hum that's it, humbled about his, re um, you know, the reaction he got when he came back on. Yeah. And well-deserved, absolutely well-deserved. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, Cri Crypto's a speaker. Crypto, are you going to oh, speak? Oh, is Oh, come on. Is, is Crypto, are you going to speak? I'm going to give you a minute or so. Uh, I'm going to invite you to, uh, invite you to speak, Crypto. I'm, di I'm dying to get your thoughts on this North West corner. You might not know to just activate his mic. True. Right, so before, I'll give him a couple of minutes to see if he accepts. Uh, so, MA on Twitter has put thoughts on Harry Lewis. Hey. He, shouldn't have gone, he shouldn't have gone to Carlisle, really. Don't no care, refunds. Man. Yep, he's done. Well, no refunds. Honest. And uh, he's, he's, yeah, no one cares. We've got. We'll be for, seeing uh, him again, don't you? Uh, we we've got Super Sex Sound Walker in goal. And then we've got Jake. I'm trying, but it's not working. Right, Crypto, if you leave and come back again, that should fix it. So I'm going to give you a minute or so to leave, then come back, and then it should work. Uh, yeah, Jake, I'm an Agile fan. I'm certainly. They'll let you sign him next season. So, Jake, while I've got you here and while Crypto messes around with his microphone, is it true that Wright gave the two-finger salute to your fans at the game ages ago and then basically your fans don't like him? Is there any truth in that? I'll let him respond. Right, Crypto. Did Crypto leave and come back or did he leave? Did he leave? No, ah, right, he's left, so I'm going to give him a minute to come back. Is I'm I'm I want to hear crypto speak, if it works. No pressure on him, like, but wait for him to come back. I was just going to uh, say, no pressure, like. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. Oh, I we're just want us to friend, play absolutely a perfect game tomorrow and win three 0 That's what I'm looking for. It's going to be difficult oh, on oh, beach, no. like. Is so before we before Is we go that? to crypto, so we've had Jake reply. Yes, he was getting loads of stick through our fans. Was very harsh. Mr. Crypto, can you hear me? Yeah, can I hear you? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and yep, clear. Loud nice, and nice clear. To welcome along. Hello, uh, everybody. Yeah, so. Hello, hi, Matt. Hi, uh, what's your situation on the northwest corner to the B block? Right, well, I mean, the people we stand with, um, obviously, we're not like young'uns. I mean, we're like, you know, like mid 30s and up to like 50 year olds and stuff. So, but. Um, we we tend to stand all the way through and the people around us tend to stand up as well. So I can understand like you know, some of the frustrations that like like you were mentioning before, you know, like 
you know, existing people who were down there uh, in the lower cop who are, you know, wanting, who like to sit down and stuff like that. But, you know, when you're going to have the drum down there and, you know, the rest of the people who are coming from the North West Connor used to standing up, I agree with you to an extent that it, it, it could possibly cause a little bit of friction because these people, and especially, you know, our group as well, we like to stand up and, and sing. I mean, we, we used to be right up at the back of the cop, um, for the last few seasons, you know, we used to be banging on the back and getting all this, you know, getting all the cop going and singing and stuff like that. And then they put the netting up because a load of like young lads were started standing on seats and, you know, getting off the heads on frigging, you know, you know what, you know what yeah. I mean, in toilets at half time and causing havoc. And they tried causing havoc with a few of us a few times until we obviously, you know, educated yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, and told told them where's because I've been going to see it. My, my you know my first game I went to see it was like nineteen seventy seven. Do you know what I mean? So I've been in cop since like you know when 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 you used to have like the away fans on the other side of a cop and it used to be just like a a thin metal like you know divide you know like a fence and they were all lobbing like lumps of concrete over each other and, and coins and stuff like that. <laughs> but like going back to a point you know like the you know the bottom of the cop, it's. I agree with you to an extent. It is going to, it's going to take a little bit of time for it to, to settle. Um, because like you say, you know, you've got people like Diane, like, you know, if you've got people stood up in front of her, she's going to like lose her shit and stuff like that. And it's not just going to be people like Diane, you know, wanting to be able to see it again when there's people jumping up and down and singing and you've got the, you know, the drums banging as well. And, you know, being near the drum, it is pretty loud. Do you know what I mean? You, when you leave ground, you're like, you're walking away, like your ears ringing. Do you know what I mean? So, to be fair, like it's it's not gonna be. It, I don't. I, I don't. It's it's gonna be interesting, and I agree with what you say. It's gonna be really interesting to see how we're gonna police this, you know, the stewards and stuff like. Because I, I agree, there's gonna be a few, you know, moments where the crowd, uh, our own crowd, are gonna start getting on, you know, getting on at each other, you know, because you're gonna have the people who don't want to sit down, who are there just to sing, create an atmosphere, you know what I mean, and stuff. And then you've got the other people who want to see the game, you know, who like to sit down and watch the game and stuff, do you know what I mean? So do you go to away games, Crypto? Yeah, I went to uh, Accrington Stanley. So like Accrington Stanley, I know the, there's standing there and obviously seating over there, but when we normally, so we say, I think when I went with Callie, I think it might have been Trammy or one of these games. Hiya, Callie. People, <laughs> Hiya. People wanted, to, people wanted to stand up, but then obviously you get people telling we, people to sit down. We need um, to have this drink, Callie. We, we need to what? Have this drink. <laughs> oh, blind date. <laughs> Johnny, are you going to play Scylla? <laughs> it's, it's not a blind date. You've seen a picture of me now. I know, I have. I have. I have. You sent, you're not um, a stranger now. I didn't see you at Accrington, though. You should have come and said hello. Uh, we was in the, the bit where uh, they're all standing, you know, behind the yeah, goal. Yeah, that's where I was. It was yeah. absolutely freezing. <laughs> right, so before these two romantics <laughs> the air uh, blue, shall we say? Get a room. <laughs> anyone got anything else to want to, anything else they want to say? Um yeah, I mean, like I say, I mean most of the points that you've said I agree with, you know, in regards to like, you know, w you know, how it's going to work and stuff in the in the lower cop, um, but I, I I do see that there's going to be a bit of friction between our own fans initially, and you know there's going to be some fans that are going to you know move away just purely because they don't want to be involved and have like loads of young younger lot because I know you, you were talking about the younger lads and stuff like that yeah. earlier on, you know, from the northwest corner, and they're all going to be there as well. Do you know what I mean at the bottom? It uh, is. It is that just that minority, isn't it? The ones that look about thirteen, fourteen year olds. Yeah, the ones um, who were all on train that, causing havoc. You know, pyro, yeah. pyros for sure, flags for pro, and all that lot. They were saying. That's it. You know what a person calls them? Foot shoot brigade. Yeah, foot shoot brigade. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So and that there is that minority that kind of spoil it. Like like at Doncaster, Doncaster away was horrendous it, it were all right once we'd moved and I, I do like being in the middle of the atmosphere but i like being just a bit near it but not too near it yeah. obviously because if i'm on my own i don't give a it don't matter to me it's just if i'm with young and you kind of i'm kind of then a bit wary of trying to keep her safe and keep her from being 
shoved about a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I can understand that. I, I get that, do you know what I mean? And, you know, it can get a bit rowdy sometimes, especially if, like, you yeah. know, we score or, you know what I mean, and there's a surge yeah. forward and stuff like, you know, people, fans and stuff like that. But, you know, we had that even right at the back of the cop before, obviously, we decided to put all yeah. that netting up at back. They won't, they won't get away with that in 70s, would they? they won't have no, they wouldn't. Two, Absolutely wouldn't. Coppers are coming and straight sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the, on the northwest corner, Crypto, did you get promised anything, such as, you know, when... Oi, 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 calm down. <laughs> it used to be the... So, obviously, it used to be, like, the family section, didn't it? Yeah. And then, did you get promised something on lines of... Because I've heard rumours of... Like Northwest people, people who got told to go to Northwest Corner, they got promised there would be safe standing. Is there any truth in that? Um, I, I can't personally verify that. I could just go by what I were told. You know, like what you were in yourself. You know, like you know that they are supposed to be introducing safe standing. And then I've heard the same rumor again for the lower cop. That's why I put it in that message in group in the group. You know what I mean? Uh, the text message and stuff. So I'm just uh, warming my tea up. Okay. But yeah. Um, I mean, like to be fair, like I, I, I personally think there might be a little bit of friction at first until it all gets settled. I mean, we're struggling as, as our group of lads. You know what I mean, all us, we're, we're struggling because I mean, someone said there were about forty odd tickets left for. Yeah, there's B about blockers. forty seats left when I looked yeah, around yeah. twenty minutes ago, mate. So it's going to be. I think it's going to be eventful. With obviously, I hope it works. And I hope everybody gets along. But like I said, couple, about twenty thirty minutes ago, I think. Wait till, is it April? Is it April when 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 it's all up for grabs? When everyone's seats are up for grabs? Is that yeah. right? April. It's April the seventh. Yeah. yeah, when the uh, the renewal phase is over and the seats that haven't been booked get unlocked. So, but there's a lot of people for whom. Luckily, I'm only in the three. I think I'm similar to you, Crypto. I was at the back of the cop as well, and then moved over to Northwest Corner this year. Um, and um, even getting a three was difficult. I've got, we're, we're, we've got some in A block, but we're going to wait till April the seventh and see if we can jump on and get and get in and get there. And so you have, to, you have to have a look. Yeah, there, that's mate. that's um, what we're planning on doing. By the looks, it's quite, it's quite, it's about ten or fifteen of you. In there, about ten of you in there, I think. If, I, if you're the part of the group I'm thinking of, yeah, it's of. about 10 or 15 of us, do you? Yeah, I, I know you. I know you are now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, the, yeah, yeah. So there's one question I've got to ask you as well, Crypto. Before we go to Kelly, I know she's got her hand up, but I know you guys like you make your atmosphere, don't you? But yeah. you also got these massive, massive flags. What you bring yeah. and stuff, and obviously the front of the cop has got like the black thing across it, hasn't it? Yeah, as yeah. So can you imagine one of them flags going up? And better behind you saying, I can't see the yeah, or all like that. Yeah. I think well, it'll cause more friction with like taking the flags down there and stuff. A little bit, yeah. This is this is why I'm thinking so I don't think it's been really properly well thought out by the by the club when they did that survey and stuff. I think we'd have been better off in the middle at cop or towards back. I think we should take that netting off at back at cop. And you know, allow the people back up there and just have a few more stewards up there. I think the reason why um, they've put that net in there at the back of a cop was basically to try and police it better because the stewards were struggling. You know, and obviously half of them couldn't be asked, you know, going from bottom of cop up to cop because it's a bit of a climb, let's be honest. Do you know what I mean? It's quite steep. You know, just to sort out a few frigging fatheads who were frigging jumping about, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, so you got your hand up, Kelly Love? Yeah, I'm just interested to ask Crypto and, and Rich. Um, obviously, if you can't get a seat in the B block, B block what's going to be your option to go? Where Where are you kind of thinking that you're going to go? Uh, I was thinking probably next to you, Kelly. Hold <laughs> 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 on. Oh, I'm not that, that note. David Lustin, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do we all have like to buy stalker a hat? alert. <laughs> stalker alert. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> I'm going to order a new hat. And on that note, and on, on, on that note um, we've had a few more. Rich, Rich, what about you? Um, we've got we've we've just bought in A block, and then we're going to wait till April the seventh and try and get into B block. So that's where we're right, at. Right, right. And it's awesome. right. And uh, obviously, Kelly, I'll, I'll, you've had the last word, so it's time to mute everybody. And I want to say thank you, everybody, for coming along today. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, give us a follow on Chickens on the Loose on on all podcast services. 
and also we've got a little small Facebook group on the go, Bradford City Chickens on the Loose. So get over to there if you like to. And also every season we've got our Super 6 competition and also every time Bradford City play we have got a golden goal feature what's for, for, for fun and for free. So wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Thank you for listening. And hope Bradford City win tomorrow. Up the chickens. <laughs>